I'm Brenda Haas, the Fine Arts Coordinator for Garland Independent School District. One of the fun things about my job is that I get to know some wonderful and outstanding fine arts teachers in Garland. And today I have with me William David Sanders. He's one of the art teachers at Hudson Middle School and he's joined us for Spotlight on the Arts. David is involved in the Dallas Custom Toy Art Scene and he's taken his knowledge of the custom vinyl toy design to his classroom and has recently extended the teaching to his students' families with an event called Vinyl Exams. Welcome, David. Oh, thank you. David, I understand that in the designer toy community, you are known as Mr. The Sanders. <laughs> so what's the story behind that name? Well, actually, the story behind that name goes back to school. Uh, my first semester teaching, I made the comment to my class that I was going to have a hard time getting used to being called Mr., uh, that I always think that's my father. I think teachers make that comment a lot. And I had a, a group of guys in that class who said, well, what do you want us to call you, the Sanders? And so I just smarted off back. I said, sure, yeah, call me the Sanders. So they started calling me the Sanders. And the next period called me the Sanders. And then next semester called me the Sanders. And by the next year, the office was calling me the Sanders. So when I started making custom toys, I said, you know what? That's what I'll go with. So I started calling myself Mr. The Sanders, which they call me at school still today. So Wonderful. Well, tell <laughs> us a little bit about what vinyl toys are and how you got involved in creating them. Well, I went to an art show in Dallas uh, that was called Vinyl Thoughts. And it was the first custom toy art show that Dallas had ever had. Um, what vinyl toys and designer toys are, um, they really stem from ur urban culture uh, in New York uh, and L.A. and Tokyo. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, hip-hop and even street art, uh, commonly known as graffiti. And uh, they, uh, a lot of these artists had stemmed off into making uh, custom and designer toys that they attached to uh, uh, street clothing brands. And then artists begin to get a hold of these toys and begin customizing them. And very soon, uh, toy companies, small toy companies, started making uh, blank toys that were basically three-dimensional canvases, a lot like this one here. Uh, this is called a Money, and it's produced by a company called Kid Robot. And uh, the money has actually been inducted into the Smithsonian Institute for the amount of influence it's had in uh, creating spontaneity and just influencing creativity uh, among people across the world. And this is the platform that we build on uh, at our school and our vinyl exam events. Wow. Tell us where the idea for vinyl exams came from. After I went to the uh, first Vinyl Thoughts art show, uh, I immediately went back and uh, contacted the curator of that show. Uh, his name was Shelby Miller. And I told him that I was an art teacher and uh, that I would love to find a way to include this into my art room because I knew that students would really, really like what was going on. And he agreed right away to work with me. And uh, we began working together to uh, find a vendor that would be able to supply the uh, uh, vinyl blanks and the size that we needed. And uh, playing off the word vinyl, which the toys are made out of to begin with, I thought, well, if they can call theirs vinyl thoughts, I could call mine vinyl exams. And we took that spin and we created an art day that would take place on a Saturday. And uh, it was for the entire family, not just students. And so I wanted them to invite parents and grandparents and cousins and nieces and nephews and brothers and sisters. And so I uh, set that first event up uh, not knowing what to expect, and I doubled the attendance that I expected and just had uh, uh, families just having a really good time creating custom toys. That sounds like such a wonderful event for our families. What kind of student and family response have you had from the workshop and since then? Well, at that first show, I thought, well, maybe 50. Maybe I'll, you know, uh, uh, spring and buy 50 of these things, and uh, hopefully I'll get enough to cover the cost of that. And it turns out the night before, I was in Plano and Frisco trying to find stores that could sell them so I could get enough. And I, we made 98 toys within three hours. And uh, it was about 50, 50% 50 students to family members. And then there were parents there creating their own toys. Uh, some families came and made one together. Uh, some, a family of five came and they each made their own. And uh, it was just a really neat time. And parents were end up having more fun making these than the students. And they wanted to do it again. And so we decided to schedule another one right away. We had another event over the summer. Uh, and I held the workshop at the Curtis Cowell Center, uh, and that was a big success. I had other art teachers from Garland come because uh, they were interested in what we were doing. Uh, I had a Boy Scout troop from the community come and complete the requirements for their merit badge at the Vinyl Exam Summer School event. And uh, we've already had another one this year, planning to have one at the end of the year, and the uh, uh, response just gets bigger and bigger. How has Vinyl Exams impacted the participation in your art program at Hudson? Uh, it's actually affected participation on several levels. Um, it has uh, got students involved that may not have been 
super interested in necessarily building a ceramic vessel, uh, but still want to do 3D work, and they see a, a way to apply the same techniques uh, that you would use otherwise in, in sculpting in a really way that, that really fascinates them. Another great way is that it's involved uh, parents in a really neat way. Some of the parents that have come and see what their children do firsthand, it just blows them away that they can be that creative on the spot. Uh, we took bags of forks and knives and just scraps of material and popsicle sticks and poured them on the table. And what the kids do with these things as they create these uh, toys just blows me away. Uh, it really, really impressed the uh, professional artists that came to help me out. Uh, and it, uh, it uh, really impressed the parents as well. And uh, it just kind of showed them that their kids have the ability to do something above and beyond. Because of that, I have parent involvement in the classroom now. They come in to see what's going on and know what's happening. Uh, I have students that aren't necessarily able to come to art on a daily basis because they're very talented, involved in choir, and in band, or even in theater. But on these Saturday workshops, they, they're able to come and participate and to create art together with their family and their friends in a really neat way. How can you use these toys to present the elements and principles of art to your students? I think one of the great things about what Vinyl Toys does is it makes the things that we're teaching in the classroom very relative and applicable to the students. They're putting their hands on something and creating something they're very proud of uh, in a very real way that applies to them and who they are. And they'll turn these little guys into superheroes or monsters or princesses or angels and they're just amazing what they're able to do. Uh, all the principles and elements of art are able to be used on these toys. Um, they can take these platforms and they can sculpt on them, they can paint on them, uh, they can draw, and so we incorporate line and also form and value. Uh, these are a couple of pieces that I've made and the students see that happen and work out in the classroom as well. Uh, one of my theories has always been that not just to be an uh, art teacher, but to be a teaching artist. And so as students see what I create and how they can create the same things, uh, it really has expanded the program in my morning classes. I have students come in and they're creating these all year long. This is just one great example of bringing education, family, and community together. Thank you, David Sanders, for visiting with us today. You're welcome. It's a pleasure.